Hi everyone, today I'm going to be showing you how to wrap a gift. And I want to let you know that the only reason I'm good at this, or I think I'm good at this, is because I've done it so many times in the last, like, I don't know, maybe like 10 years. So the first thing you want to do is your wrapping paper that you have, you want to make sure that you measure out. Oh, it looks like I'm almost out. You want to make sure that you measure out your paper. Obviously, this is too much paper for this. Okay, so it looks like we're going to cut right about here. Okay, so it's just going to be a little strip. Let's go ahead and do that. I'm holding onto the camera so I can't do this with one hand, okay? So the first thing you want to do is you want to flip your gift on its head. So that way, any of the ugly parts or parts that you know aren't really pretty to look at are on the bottom of the gift and they're not like on the top of the gift or anything like that, okay? Okay, so you want to go ahead and you want to do that. And you want to make sure you have enough on both sides. Okay, so it looks like we have enough on both sides. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to fold over. Okay, it looks like we have more than enough. And I'm going to fold over the other side as well. Make sure it all fits. It looks like it does. So let's go ahead and tape that down. Okay, so we've gone ahead and we've pressed this up to the edge. Remember, your gift is upside down. And it's nice and taut right here with a piece of tape. Okay, and we're going to do the exact same thing to the other side. Okay. So I'm going to fold this over, and it looks like there's a lot of paper left over. I'm going to show you what to do with that. We're just going to fold it inward, and crease right here so that we know where to fold. Okay. And there you go. There's your fold. I'm going to fold it in just like this. So that when you fold it over like this, it looks perfect, see? And we're going to put tape underneath it, okay, we're going to put tape like right here, so that you can't see any of the tape on the gift, okay? Okay, so you can see that I put tape all over this side, and I'm just going to easily fold it over, oops, and you want to make it nice and tight, give it a tight stretch. So then you can see that the tape's all hidden underneath and you can't see it and it makes for a nicer presentation. Okay. All right. So now you have to deal with the outer edges and there's two ways of doing this. Some people will fold it in this way. Um, I personally like to make these little triangles on the side or the outer edges because it just looks neater. At least it does in my eyes. Actually, you know what? Mm, I don't want it that way. You can, so you can fold in the triangle on the outer edges like this, or you could fold it inward like this. So I'm going to go ahead and fold mine inward. Now by folding mine inward, I mean I'm folding it in like this, okay? And I'm going to fold the other side just like that as well. So this is what it looks like. So when you fold it over, it's going to look like this. And as you can tell, this gift wrapping sucks. It doesn't make any sense. Okay, I'm going to try again. I actually don't like it the way I folded it. I don't like it like that because it look what happens. And it doesn't have to be perfect, but you can see that this is totally off and it just looks ugly. Okay, so let's go ahead and try it the other way. Let's open it up. We're going to try it this way where it goes down like this and you fold the outer edges. Okay, so let's try that on the other side. Okay, so I'm going to fold where it opens up like this. Okay, so that way it'll fold in like this nicely. And that looks pretty. Let's try that. Okay, you know what? It's still kind of messy, but it looks better than the other one. And it's a little bit neater, so we're going to go ahead and do it this way. You know what? We're going to ignore the other side for a moment, and we're going to try it with this side. So we're going to do the exact same thing we did to the other side, where we fold it in like this. Okay. Doesn't look too bad. Okay. Okay. And you know what? It actually folds over quite nicely. Just like this. 
but I want it to look just like the other side, and I get a feeling the other side is not going to look like this. So let's flip it around and try it out. Pretty sure I screwed up somewhere. Okay, so this side folds over nicely, and you kind of end like this, and it's going to look like that. So let's go ahead and do this side and then deal with the other side. Okay, so again, you want to make it look like there's no tape. I put that in there. Okay, and then you want to take another piece of tape, and I put it in here, and I put it up here too, where this tip is right here, and you bring it down, so it's nice and tight, just like that, and look at that, oh it's so beautiful, now let's make that happen on the other side, mm, it's not very pretty, you know what I'm going to do, I'm going to fold in this area just a little bit, so it looks a little bit more even. Let's look at the other side. Oh, that side looks so pretty compared to this side. Uh, but you know what? At least I wrapped it, okay? Oh, that actually looks really nice. Mm. That looks really pretty. It's almost like an envelope. That means this side should go down this way too. Okay, so let's go ahead and tape that down. So as you can see here, I open it up and fold a little bit of this piece out so that it's gonna look exactly like the other side. So, so let's go ahead and try that one more time. So I went ahead and I took this corner out and pushed out a little bit from the inner corner over here. And so we're gonna use a little bit of tape right here and fold in the corner that you can't see and the one that I actually ripped. Okay, so it looks like this. And then we're going to take this and we're going to fold it over to the point where it looks like, oops, geez, that's not what I wanted, like that. It doesn't look too bad. Let me tape that down. Okay, so I haven't taped it down just yet, but you see that I'm trying to make it look like the other side. Okay, so you see where it the corners meet up. Go ahead and try that. There you go. So it looks a lot more like the other corner. Let's match up just a little bit. Fold it inward. Why doesn't that look right? There we go. That looks pretty. Okay, all right, so go ahead and take a look at the other side, and that honestly looks so much better than what it looked like. Now, your gifts don't have to be perfect, okay? I just like to try really hard <laughs> when it comes to putting things together. Um, so this is the best I could do, at least for now, and remember that you can always grow. There's always room for growth, so now I can just go ahead and put a bow on it and put a card on it and address it to whoever it goes to and go to dinner. All right, happy holidays. So lastly, I wanted to show you a little hack. Um, you could just stick tape at the bottom of this so that you or the person that receives this gift can reuse the bow. Um, I, I don't know how many bows I've gone through in a lifetime, but I didn't realize uh, how pricey bows can get until I was a total grown-up and you know, started spending money. So please make sure that uh, you make it easy on yourself and the other person that you're gifting to because they might actually want to keep the paper. Sometimes it's just, you know, something pretty. It's part of the gift. Got a big red bow to match. So let's go ahead and put tape at the bottom of this. So I'm going to go ahead and put tape on the bottom of this. And before you tape this down, you want to make sure that you put a card down to address it to the person. Fill it out first so you're not writing on top of the gift. Let me go ahead and do that. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is after you fill out who it's going to, you want to go ahead and you want to put it like either nicely on, in the center. I like to put mine in the corner. So just go ahead and tape it down. And once you tape it down, you're going to be able to hide this tape with your bow. And remember that you can reuse this bow or the person that you're giving it to obviously can reuse this bow and just stick it right over the tape 
And there you go. It's a beautiful gift. I dress to the person you love. Okay. And again, I know it's not perfect, but I did my best, okay? And I, I know that you will continue to do your best out there. Thank you so much for watching, and happy, happy holidays, Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, and thank you so much for watching my channel. I really appreciate it. Bye.